Hey there, this is uh, Matthew Thomas uh, coming at you again. I uh, just decided to do a different kind of video. It's something I've never actually seen anybody else ever do, but I just thought it might be kind of neat. So I've done my seven least expensive pop vinyls, my six most expensive pop vinyls, and now I'm going to do the six pop vinyls that are like rare and expensive that I really, really want and I know I'll never, never get. Uh, just because they're just they're just too much money. Um, and like uh, the other day, um, Max Hedron, uh, he was uh, he had a video up, and uh, um, he goes he, his channel is called Who's Got Pops, and uh, he was talking about um, uh, pop, pops being overproduced, and uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. And uh, the thing I said to him was that uh, you know from a collector's standpoint like I completely understand like having like the exclusives be rare that kind of thing that way you know gives people like like him and others uh, who are really into getting like the rare stuff something to kind of shoot for and then that's really cool but the tip for me my personal opinion is kind of a shame like I, I, don't, I don't think they should overproduce don't get me wrong but I think it's kind of a shame that some pops are are so rare that I even though I, I absolutely love the characters I know I'll just never be able to get them, um, but I mean that's that's that is what it, it is what it is, right? I mean, I still I still love the pop vinyls that I have, and uh, I'm still very happy with my collection. I just figured I'd put out a list of the six pops that uh, I really wish I could get, but I just I know I'm not going to, and and why I like them so much. So first off is uh, Doctor Doom. I always I always loved Doctor Doom uh, from the Fantastic Four comics. I always thought he was such an awesome, awesome villain. Uh, I love the fact that like he's a lot like um, the dark, evil version of Batman without like the detective stuff. But like where he's got no powers, um, but he's just super, super smart and is able to create all these technologies that give him abilities far beyond. Uh, that of a normal person. I just always really, really liked him a lot. Um, and then the thing, as a you know, as a as a bigger guy, as I'm sure you can tell by looking at me, uh, I always I always loved I always loved him. Where he, like he, his character was always uh, uh, torn by like feeling uh, negative about himself, but he was also really like a super positive character. And like I'm I'm this I'm a <laughs> like I. I'm not exactly the fastest running person in the world, let me put it to you that way, but I, I always uh, pride myself on, like, physical strength, and so, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot about the character that I could relate to, it made me really, really love him, and then, like, also, I, I just always felt like, like, a lot of people point to Spider-Man as being, like, the moral compass of the Marvel Universe, and I would argue it might be the thing more so, because, uh, you know, he lacks the, the sarcastic humor of, uh, Spider-Man, you know, he's just an up and up, like out and out, all around good guy, and you know he's not perfect by any means, but he uh, he's always there to try to do what's right. Um, and then um, Lando Calrissian from Star Wars, because he's just so cool. I mean, what else is more is there to say about Lando? He's just such a such a cool character. Um, also from Star Wars, I always really wanted to get Emperor Palpatine. Um, again, he's not. You know, he's not the coolest character in the world, but he's just, you know, he's the big bad, you know, so I, I want to get him, um, you know, you, you, it speaks to, uh, you know, how badass he is that he was the guy who was able to control Vader for all those years. Um, and then, uh, as far as another badass character, I want to get uh, Rorschach, and, uh, and you know, I should say this is Seven, because I really want to get Dr. Manhattan, too. I just always, I love the Watchmen comic books, and I really, really like the movie, too. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not perfect, but there's a lot of things about it that I really quite enjoy. Um, I just, I just love the writing of, of those characters and like, um, that scene in the movie with, uh, with, uh, Rorschach where he's in prison and he throws the, um, the oil on the guy and he, he, he yells that they don't, that they don't get it yet, that he's not in jail with them, that they're in jail with him. Such a, such a great line, such a great moment. Um, and then, uh... Uh, v from V for Vendetta, um, just another just another character that I really really like quite a bit. Uh, I never actually read the comics; I only ever saw the movie. But I really liked the movie. Um, who knows if I had read the comics, I may not have. I know that the movie has a very mixed reaction from fans of the books, um, but uh, I really really liked the movie. So yeah, that's uh, 
That's my list. Let me let me just double check to make sure I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I got them all. <laughs> all right. So uh, thanks for watching.